Okay, so here I'm going to show you how I made the sequence light up. So pretty much this is the wiring. So you probably notice here that I switched on the breadboard. I switched the the green LED. I put a red LED where the green LED was and I did that just because it kind of made more sense following the directions but it doesn't really matter either way um, I just did that so that it made more sense um, so pretty much what's happening here is we have a, a wire lead from pin 11 that's what we added so first we had this first pretty much we have like power from this black one and then we have um, the the wire lead for this red LED with the resistor and this black wire is on pin 7 and then the next wire, the red wire, is on pin I think that's like about it's hard to see. I think it's about pin 7. So pin 6 for the black, pin 7 for the red. And then the only thing we really added here were um, two more wires that were for the extra two LEDs that we added. So we added a yellow LED and a, this green LED. Um, and then we also added two resistors. Um, for those wire connections so that the lights don't burn out basically um, so pretty much we have our our wire lead or jumper lead from uh, pin 11 to the fourth row of the breadboard right so this is talking about this yellow wire and then there's an LED connected to the fourth and fifth rows with the positive side on the fourth row. Then we have a, a resistor connected to the fifth row and the negative side of the power rail here. And then next, uh, the last portion of this setup was pretty much um, uh, looking at this green wire here. So the green lead, the jumper lead from pin 13 goes to the 7th row of the breadboard. So you can see that where the green one is. And um, the green LED is connected to the 7th and 8th rows. And the positive side is on the positive long, the long leg side basically is on the seventh row and then we have the resistor here for this green LED so the resistor for the green LED is on the eighth row of the breadboard um, and the minus side of the power rail and so that's pretty much what the circuit looks like um, it's a little, it looks a little messy but you know these wires are kind of curling and then in addition to the wiring we have so it, so it, in addition to the wiring we have a um like we pretty much have a python script that's set up uh using leafpad and what this is basically saying is that um, it's going to make the lights blink in the sequence. Um, it's going from pin 7, pins 11, and pin 13 from the power. From the power. Uh, and then it's lighting up each light in, in sequential order going um, with the red that's going to turn on and then it's going to turn off so these blink for about one second and then they turn off and then the yellow light is going to blink and then it's going to turn off and then the green light is going to blink and then it's going to turn off 
and that's pretty much the end of the sequence and that's pretty much what this what this script is saying just like very basically like the numbers are referring to the pins and then you see where it says red on yellow on green on um, and then it says sleep um, so it's pretty much saying that the light is gonna turn on and then it's gonna turn off um, and then it's basically saying the GPIO output um, from which pin and then it's telling you what's gonna happen the, the light is gonna turn on and then it's gonna sleep and then the next lights gonna turn on then it's gonna sleep and then the third light the green light is gonna turn on and then it's gonna turn off and that's the end of the sequence and so, so in order to program this, we have this um, LX terminal open, and pretty much we're using the sudo permission. Pretty much, it's saying sudo space python space gpio underscore sequence. It's gonna say dot py, and pretty much it's because if you remember our Python script that we wrote in Leafpad. The title of that is gpio underscore sequence dot py. So pretty much, um, this this lx terminal is basically just gonna open what we programmed, and then it's going to light up the LEDs in the order that we wrote the script pretty much so all right so here it goes i'm gonna type in the dot py that's the part that was missing i just didn't type it in and then when i press enter it's going to refer to it's going to refer to the script and then it's going to light up the lights so i'm gonna just press enter now after I turn off my desk lamp and you'll be able to see um, the lights light up so sorry I'm gonna press enter So that was running the script. It did it three times. Um, there were three cycles that it went through. And yeah, that's pretty much what was supposed to happen. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to press enter. So that was running the script. It did it three times. Um, there were three cycles that it went through. And yeah, that's pretty much what was supposed to happen. So yeah, thanks for watching.